this is simple setup to uh, start seeds that I use. So at the beginning, I put them in soil into containers with lids and I close the lids so that it stays uh, wet and uh, moist. And you see some seedlings already started to emerge. Then once the seedlings are a little bit larger, I open the lid and let them grow. This is basil. And once they get larger, I move them into larger containers. And usually larger containers have holes uh, for drainage at the bottom, but this one is without hole and it's still going fine. And this is the setup I use to start seeds. So I kind of fill halfway containers with soil, potting mix, and then put seeds there and cover with lid and place it in a warm place uh, for several days or a week until the seed seedlings emerge and then I remove the lid and let them grow in this container before transplanting into larger containers. Here are tomatoes. So here are tomatoes that I'm going to separate into larger containers, different sizes like this. What I'm going to do is going to pick the one I want and pull it out. Don't worry that the roots may get damaged. It's going to put it in cover. With soil you can put it a little bit deeper than originally. Uh, here are recently transplanted uh, tomato seedlings in the smaller containers. I transplanted them several days ago and here are the larger seedlings. I transplanted them maybe a week or two ago. So here are tomatoes and this is set up for peppers, eggplants. Everything is very simple and I try to reuse different containers. Um, this is the way to recycle containers to decrease the waste. So here is a wild tomato growing among the pumpkins and I did not plant these tomatoes and this is um, end of September so they just appeared out of nowhere. I don't even remember putting seeds here and you can see the plants are quite healthy so this is just the proof that plants want to grow anyways and they will grow regardless so it is very easy to grow tomatoes <laughs>